Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 11th of October. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you the major strands of this week as an overview and then dive deep for each individual zodiac sign. So please stay with me. Now the major news story this week is that Saturn, the ruler of time, Saturn is the Latin uh, version of Kronos, the Greek god. Kronos, old father time. So Saturn governs the mechanics of things. It's very much to do with where we're applied, where we're disciplined, but it can also be about limitation and obstacles and contraction. And since the 23rd of May, Saturn has been retracing its steps in the sign of Aquarius, which of course it co-rules. But for vast amounts of that time, it has been pretty much in a square with Uranus, the other ruler of Aquarius, which is very progressive and freedom loving, very much about trying new things, where Saturn's very much about traditionality. So if you have experienced a period of great frustration in your situation, and it feels that things just haven't been moving forwards, it's really positive that Saturn starts the station direct. But this week also sees the Sun and Mars in the sign of Libra in a combination which is pushing us to assert our rights around relationships in a tense right angle with Pluto, the planet of transformation. And this can lead to some quite forceful or heated standoffs. But those relationships that are much more constructive are given an opportunity to become even more stable and progressive because Venus, the planet of relating in the sign of philosophy, Sagittarius, is linking brilliantly to Saturn. So that's a, a real upside to this week. But there is a quarter moon which occurs on Wednesday and this one is pretty close to Pluto and it's the moon in Capricorn and that's squaring to the sun in the seventh house. Do you know, there may be a situation where we do actually try very much to fit in with what's expected of us, but somehow or another, whoever we're trying to relate to will still find that our efforts just are not good enough. So expect to encounter someone who really is quite hard to please, and that could in itself be quite frustrating if we're really trying our best to be quite constructive. Now the other thing to tell you is that by the end of this week, both Mercury and Jupiter on Sunday are ending their retrogrades, both uh, in air signs, the Mercury retrograde in Libra and Jupiter in Aquarius. But I will tell you more about that next time. But the big news story this week is definitely that Sun Mars square with Pluto and Saturn going forwards. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you want your free daily written horoscope fired to your device each morning, please click on the subscription link beneath this video. I write for some of uh, the world's bigger platforms and also for the British Press Association. I've been their lead astrologer for many years and also Britain's most read daily newspaper, The Metro. So why not grab yours too? And with year 2022 fast racing up, if you want to understand what the year holds for you personally, based on your time, date and place of birth, you can order your forecast now and get the rest of this year free, plus a character analysis, plus 30% off. So gain serious insights for what lies ahead for you, Hello Capricorn and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 11th of October. Your ruling planet Saturn has been in retrograde motion since the 23rd of May. If it's felt that your individual hopes have been really limited, frustrated, there's been roadblocks and you really haven't felt that things have been flowing on quite as you would like, I think there is going to be a sense that things are starting to move particularly around a financial issue. Or it could be just about how you feel about yourself, your own self-worth, because that's where that sense of 
perhaps feeling penned in may have manifested itself most of all. But Venus, the planet of love and affection, is in a very reflective, uh, meditative, and even reminiscing part of your scope, the 12th house. But that's linking to Saturn. Now, Venus, of course, is not just about relationships, it's about money. So it's possible that something you've done in the past, where you've worked hard and built up a rapport or a relationship with someone, that it can come back to you in a really good way. And you can start to see some kind of reaching out. It may be subtle, maybe someone's going to take soundings. You may hear even through an intermediary about how to move forwards. But that can be very constructive for you. But when it comes to demonstrating to people just how much talent you've got, how much uh, energy and drive to achieve your goals, the fact that the Sun and Mars are combining in your 10th house of success is really still a great assistance to you. But you've got to use it well because the quarter moon in your sign this week is very close to Pluto. Pluto is, of course, potentially quite a tricky influence. It's the ruler of the underworld. You know, it can be about underhandedness. It can be about ruthlessness. So the angle of Pluto is pushing you to get in touch at a deep level with your individual talent. But the Sun and Mars are seeing you want recognition and acclaim. But you probably can't get it all on your terms alone. You're going to have to fit into the construct of what's expected of you. So that may mean that something that's important to you individually needs to be compromised a little bit. But because the Sun and Mars together can see us trying a bit too hard or being a bit too forceful, particularly in their angle to Pluto, something could get broken by really overreaching. So if you can use the extra confidence that the Sun's combination with Mars gives you, and get in touch with what's good for you as an individual, but balance it against what's really achievable in the environment that you're living in, you know, whether it is professionally or it is personally, that's going to be a much better way to go forwards. And then by the end of this week, Mercury and Jupiter are on the cusp of ending their retrograde. So at the start of next week, even more good news to come. Please join me then for more insight uh, uh, knowledge on that. Thank you.